The Department of Veterans Affairs' favorite scam is denying private medical evidence. This is the biggest scam of all. The VA loves to deny private medical evidence and say that it's not sufficient for rating purposes. I'm going to walk you through an example here and I'm gonna show you how they play their stupid games and then I'm gonna tell you how to beat them. The VA doesn't like private medical evidence. Their own website states that it is sufficient for rating purposes, but VA employees, they don't need to follow their own rules or laws until you catch them breaking them. And unfortunately, that's done in the appeals process. If you get an independent medical opinion from a private doctor, it is sufficient for rating purposes, period. It doesn't say anything about how long you've been seeing the doctor or how long he's been treating you or where he's located. That's not in the law. If the doctor's located in another state, that doesn't matter as well, according to the law. Now, I will say I'm aware that the VA has a hard on for this kind of stuff. And if you can get to a uh, private doctor to uh, render a medical opinion for you that's located close to you, proximity wise, that's better. But if you can't do that, you've exhausted VA doctors, your private doctor doesn't quite understand it, and you gotta go out of state, then you gotta go out of state. Perfectly legal. Let's flip this around and show you the hypocritical side of this. The VA will send you to a CNP examiner five hours away, clear across your state and deep into some other state. And then that guy gives you an unfavorable opinion that the VA rater will use as the golden ticket to deny your claim. So this guy's from another state. He's never seen me before. He's not my treating physician, but you're not even gonna blink at it twice, huh? It's just good to go. Yeah. <laughs> It's unfair and it's bullshit, but that's exactly what they do. You will never see a decision letter that reads, thanks for filing your claim, but we decided to go with the independent medical opinion of our doctor that's located in a different state and has never seen you before. They're just gonna say, we decided to go with our doctor because we pay for his opinion. VA raters like to say that the independent medical opinion of your medical provider is biased because you paid for it. But they say nothing about the money they spent on their own crooked doctors they pay to deny us. So they leave that part out too. So this is a matter of convenience and this is how VA raters dance around things. You submit a uh, opinion from a private doctor, they say, oh, he's not your treating physician, or he didn't review your whole file, or he lives out of state, or you paid for that opinion. But then at the same time, they will send you out of state to one of their crooked doctors that get paid, and they will use his opinion to deny you. So it's literally, they're talking out of both sides of your head. I cover this in depth in my boot camp, and if you're not in my boot camp, what's up? Get in there, combatcraig.com. Here's an example, and I'm gonna pick this apart a little bit, so bear with me. We acknowledge receipt of your private medical evidence and opinion intending to link your current disability to your disease, event, or injury from your military service. However, the private evidence was not deemed sufficient for evaluation purposes. The private examiner did not have access to the entire evidence of record for review and consideration. The examiner resides outside of the claimant's locality, therefore, long-term treatment is not assumed. Therefore, we scheduled and conducted a VA examination on your behalf. Thanks, VA. All right, when you read this, you're gonna be pissed off when you read this the first time, no doubt. For sure that's happening. My advice to you is walk away from it and come back maybe in a couple days, couple hours, I'd probably give it a couple days. And I get it, you waited for this decision for nine months, you got private medical evidence to prove your diagnosis, symptoms, and nexus, which is all VA claims come down to, and you still got denied, and you're fucking pissed off. I totally get that. You need to stop and pause, and this is the, uh, this is the decision-making process. You filed your claim. You waited for them to make their move. They denied you. Now it's your turn to make your move. So make the right move and don't make it based on emotion. As hard as this sounds, you need to disconnect yourself 
from your subjective feelings about this rating decision and figure out how to attack this like a lawyer would. The VA claims process is a game. You build your claim the best you can and you hit the submit button. You made your move and then you have to wait for the VA to come back and deny your claim, which is their move. Another option is to enter the lower levels of the appeals process on your own by filing a higher level review or a supplemental claim. I suggest going this route first. In this particular situation, I'm going to recommend a higher level review, and here's why. They acknowledged the private medical evidence you submitted and they ignored it. That's illegal. That alone is huge. You can fight and win on that alone. They say your private doctor didn't have access to the entire evidence of record, which is bullshit because you gave him your entire VA claims file. So you can win on that one alone as well. They say your examiner resides outside of your locality, so long-term treatment is not assumed. That's also illegal because this is an opinion from a doctor and you don't need long-term treatment. If we take that a step further from Mr. Asshole VA Raider, what would make you happy, Mr. Dickhead VA Raider? What is your definition of long-term treatment? Three days, three weeks, three months, three years? It just says long-term treatment. It's not defined because it's made up. It's a bullshit statement that's also illegal. So you argue this by arguing the legality of the decision. You need to stick to the facts, do a higher level review, and if you don't wanna to talk to a decision review officer, don't check the box. You could do this by just writing your statement. This is what you need to do. You need to put this in writing, and don't request the phone call. I prove my disability by providing a diagnosis, the severity of my symptoms, and a nexus linking my current disability to my active duty service. My private doctor reviewed my entire VA claims file, which I provided to him on January 15, 2022, prior to my exam, or whenever the date is. This all comes down to medical evidence. So you, your argument is, I provided the medical evidence. You didn't even look at the medical evidence. And then just as the kicker, they're saying they didn't review your uh, claims file. Make sure you say that. I gave the doctor my entire VA claims file on a CD or a PDF or however. And that's it. Like, that's all you need to do. You don't need to go rambling on for, you know, five more paragraphs. Short, simple, factual, learn how to speak to the VA using as few words as possible. The more they get you talking, the more you're off your game. You don't need to address the fact that your doctor only saw you once and that he was located out of state. They can clearly see that both your doctor and the CNP examiner only saw you once and they were both located out of state. They already know that, so you don't need to focus on that part. This is your move. File your higher level review and see what they come back with next. When they come back, you know, if you're feeling uncomfortable, if your higher level review gets denied, you could lawyer up at any time in the appeals process if you don't feel like you can handle it. But I suggest something like this, where they just disregarded all of your private medical evidence, I would go after a higher level review. All right, that's about all I have to say in this video. Fight, fight, fight. The VA's not your friend. The VA's the enemy. The VA could suck it. I'll see you in the next video. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you about my boot camp. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. You can talk to me live. There's a link on the website and in the description, combatcraig.com. And also, if you need medical evidence like a nexus or documenting your symptoms properly, go to our website, combatcraig.com, and it says med team slash nexus letters. Click on that link, fill out the form. Boom, you're done.